welcome to our databricks tutorial so in this tutorial you are going to learn how can you read any csv or json file from s3 bucket to your PySpark data frame to read any file from s3 bucket you must have an active aws account in aws account you must have access on your s3 bucket so you need these access credentials to access your S3 bucket in PySpark environment or you can say in Databricks environment. So guys, please stay tuned with this video and have a lot of fun. So here I have an active AWS account. In AWS account, I have a S3 bucket and we have two files like employee depth as a CSV file, employee info as a JSON file. So we are going to read these files in our PySpark data frame by using Databricks. So in this example, we are using Databricks Community Edition, which is free services from the Databricks side. If you want to learn and you want to upgrade your skills, then you can utilize this web based feature. So first step of this uh, exercise is to import some spark module we, so we are imp uh, importing our spark session module from pyspark.sql then we are going to initialize our spark session so here i have created a spark lo spark as a local variable then i am initializing my spark session that is spark session dot builder then a app name and then config dot config so here we are uh, we are initializing some jar packages for amazon aws and then we are going to get or create our spark session okay so we need access credential on the s3 bucket so i have stored my all access credentials in a csv file you can see in catalog in dbfs that is databricks file storage in file storage i have a aws directory here i have stored my old credentials which are related to my aws account so first of all i am going to read these credentials and then i am going to configure my aws credentials okay so in the next row you can see that is a that is my file path for my credentials then uh, here i am using spark.read.csv then i am passing my config file path then header equal to true in for schema equal to true then i am going to display the schema of this file So here you can see I have my access ID, uh, my secret access key, my Redshift related credentials, my S3 bucket and then my AWS uh, IM underscore role. So I am going to read these each configuration settings in, a, in my local variables like access key ID where I am reading my access key ID from, from AWS for, and then I am going to read my secret access key in a secret access key variable then my s3 bucket and then i am going to print my s3 bucket path then here you can see i am going to configure my s3 configurations so i am using spark.jsc. Hadoop configuration where I am going to set my access key the same for my secret key then the last one I am defining the endpoint so my endpoint is s3 amazon aws.com here you can see this is my storage bucket in aws in s3 the same you can see here okay now I am going to read my csv file so this is the actual path for my csv file you can see here 
this is the actual file path the same path i am creating here that is dynamic so we are storing our s3 bucket in my configuration file so i am reading this uh, s3 bucket with the help of my local variable that is s3 bucket then i am going to read my csv file that is spark.read.csv then i am passing my s3 file path uh, and header equal to true comma in first schema equal to true and i am going to display schema of the file here you can see so in this file we have four columns like employee id employee name department and salary now i want to display all the records from this file so i am going to use display method that is df employee dap dot display you can see we are going to specify the file path for my json file and then we are going to read uh, this data into another data frame and we are calling spark.read.json and then we are passing our s3 employee file path then we are going to print a schema of this data set as well now in this data set you can see a city country department employee id name salary now we want to display all the data from this file as well so we are going to use uh, df employee info dot display and then after executing this row then you can see all the data like age city country department employee id name salary so guys you can see it is very easy to read any csv json file from s3 bucket so you have to uh, you have to follow only five five steps one is initializing your spark session number two you have to configure your s3 credentials then you have to specify the file path in s3 then you are going to read any csv or json file in your data frame then you are going to so all the data by using display method is, uh, like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel